Hey everyone, are you looking for a compact and versatile charger for your devices? If so, you might want to check out the Unitech 65 watt charger that I have here today. You may recognize the name as they were the ones that sent over their dock for review, which has proven to be quite reliable and useful so far. Now, let's talk about the unboxing experience, if you want to call it that. There's nothing too fancy, they have sleek and sturdy packaging, but getting into the box itself, clearly it is a multi-purpose box here because there is a disappointing amount of empty space. Unfortunately, you will not find any sort of included cable with this one, which is an absolute miss with a lot of these companies. If I'm going out of my way to buy a beefy charger, I would expect at least one cable to support the max rated speed of the charger. Other than that, it's a simple and minimalist charger. There isn't too much to reinvent this space in the space uh, beyond the actual charging technology, obviously with the chargers getting smaller, but other than that, it has two powerful USB-C ports that can deliver up to 65 watts of juice, and one handy USB-A port that can handle up to 30 watts of power. Moving on to the price, it's $40.99 Canadian, uh, currently with a $4 coupon, which is comparable to other products in the field. The Anchor product comes in a bit more expensive than the Ugreen 65 watt charger is about the same price, but that comes with a cable with only having one port. Now I cannot verify if either of these chargers would supply full power to the Ally. There is also another Ugreen option at $55 with a $5 coupon. As always, I will advocate for you to do your own research and form your own opinion of these products, sponsored or not. I will say I have a HuntKey 100 watt, and that did not even support a slow charge on the Ally. So stay away from HuntKey as a brand for your chargers, I would say, for the Ally at least. Now getting into the testing of the ROG Ally, using my Anchor 317 100 watt charger as baseline, we can see that during our Cyberpunk 2077 benchmark run, it is able to supply a full power of 43 watt 2 minute burst and 30 watt sustained. The Anchor charger was putting out 49 watt on average and 3.07 amp. Now plugging the Unitech power supply, we can see that it will not provide the full charge to the Ally no matter the port. I did test off camera as well to see if it worked without my voltage meter uh, to no avail. For curiosity's sake, I plugged into my wireless phone charger, the top port as well, and having the Ally plugged into the bottom port. And as we can see here, we are now only getting about 28 watts of power, which is in line with the reported 30 watt split charge on the USB-Cs. Now, I'm not sure what is at play here because I'm not an electrical engineer, but I do know that the charger is not giving me what I want at the full charge speed. The pros to this charger are that it comes in smaller than the Steam Deck charger, while only weighing 120 grams, and the obvious benefit of having multiple ways to charge devices. If I were to be using only the Steam Deck, this would be my go-to charger. It is compact and lightweight enough to throw in your pocket if you wanted. Compared to the current, my uh, sorry, my current Anchor 100 watt, um, yeah, it's more powerful, but it only has one USB-C port. The cons are obvious: not being able to supply the Ally with the full charging performance speeds. Um, as well, I will mention the lack of the USB-C cable here is not a welcome one. It does for the most part seem to be industry standard, but if you are a tech company in a highly competitive field, you have to be looking for ways to one-up the competition in my opinion. Buck the trend and offer an incentive to, for the buyers to be swayed to your product over the others. Especially when going against more common names like Anchor or Ugreen as they tend to be more widely regarded as good options in the community. Not to say that Unitech is a bad option, I'm just saying that they're more popular or well known. In conclusion, this charger is a charger. Take the information I provided, and if it seems like you're the type of person who would benefit from this configuration of ports, like a Steam Deck owner looking for a good all-in-one charger, then it would be an absolute recommendation to that buyer. However, if you have other more powerful handhelds, then I suggest you take a look elsewhere. Luckily, I have another charger that I'll be covering in a separate video from Unitech's sister company that will provide the Ally with full power. So keep an eye out for that one if you're interested. However, that'll do it for this review of the Unitech 65 watt charger. I hope I was able to provide some useful information to help better inform your decision. As always, I hope you all have a great day, and remember, don't judge a charger by its size, but by its power.